So now you've got your short and your long. Short and long. You're doing fine. I'll show you a little trick there in one sec. So the one thing that Tony's doing that's very important that a lot of beginning uh, people don't do is they um, he's got his hands far away from the wound. Uh, in the beginning, people are too close to the wound, and it makes it very difficult to manage the material. So that's excellent technique that way. And you notice he's going long over the driver towards the short and picking up the tail and pulling that suture tight. Excellent technique. And you notice his hands are spread apart. Only a dedicated medic is going to volunteer to be videotaped, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I do not mind at all. I think teaching is, is just part of, of your job. That's true. Right. I mean, it's like, you know, because we, we need to learn so we can teach the new people that are going to be coming. And I think when you get to a point where you're teaching it, you're, you pretty much own that process, whatever you're teaching. Is that feeling pretty comfortable? Oh, yeah, this feels way comfortable. I already know that's like, I've been kind of knowing. Now the trick now is to tell yourself not to cut that till you're all done mm -hmm. and your work is down. And I've just been notorious for like, you know, I, I tend to watch other people yep. when they do it. And if I see a lot of puckering on the wound, I said, you need to take that stitch out. Start right. Oh, very good. So the, the, whole, the whole point when you're doing this is to loosely approximate but not strangulate is a good little thing to teach your guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there's puckering, you're too tight. And that can leave, like you're saying, that can leave you, you open to gaps where you can have uh, dehiscence of the wound. Right. It also just, when it heals, it'll, it'll heal with a little pucker to it and make the scar worse. This definitely is one of those finesse things, right? It is. You have to take your time. So what are, what are some of the common injuries or let's say non-traumatic but routine stuff that you'll take care of with your soldiers. A lot of foot problems, feet. Um, a lot of foot problems. Or are they um, pretty good about taking care of their feet? Well, you tend we do have we do tend to have some people that have uh, hygiene issues, so you got to kind of ride them a little. A you got to be a mom. Yeah, you do, and it's it is hard. It's, you know, because you don't like to. You don't want to come across to your guys as like, oh, why is he always riding me and stuff like that. But right. a lot of it, you don't realize that. You have to do it with some kind of mutual respect where they will yes, hopefully exactly. take the tip that exactly. you're giving I'm them. Like, you know, listen, guys, I'm not coming down on you because I'd like to come down on you. But, like, you know, hygiene in this environment, you know, in the environments we're going into is going to be a, a big priority. Right. And, stuff, so. and it's not like you can run somewhere and go get fixed or stay at home. Exactly, because we're, you know, we're gonna be out for like, you know, you never know, 24 hours uh, at a time, and we don't know when we're gonna get into the next treatment facility to, to be able to treat. And taking care of your feet is critical. It is, right? because you I mean, only have, on one, those, you only on have one set of feet. Right, yeah. and a little preventive maintenance goes a long way. Exactly, and it's not like we can like, you know, be, um, always be conscious you know we always try to be conscious of where you're at out there and now you are going to get some minor wounds that you will be Please, sir. setting up and helping with some wound management just like this yes uh -huh. so this is very much part of what you could really be doing how am i doing so far you're doing awesome well it's only because i have a good teacher He is modest, so, folks. So one thing I like that you're doing right mm -hmm. now, Tony, is you've already accepted the challenge of not using the forceps, and mm -hmm. you're using that cotton tip applicator. Mm -hmm. That's um, that's going to take you a long way. I like it because it's like you know I've been, you know I have noticed too when I've done when, I, when I've had to do sutures and I use the 
you know, I, I'll look back on it and I'll look at the we'll look at the wound and I say, what the heck happened here? Yeah. You know, the more I, the more gentle you are on the okay. tissue, the uh, make sure you know you got yourself in a knot or not. I don't. Oh, you might. Oh, I yeah. yeah. Right, so Been there, done that, my friend. Do I have myself in the knot again? Or not? No. I don't think so. Maybe not. Let me close. We'll see. And uh, you know the thing is, is if you do get yourself in a knot and you realize it, you just um, say, okay, that was a practice run, and I'm going to take it out. And so we have Sergeant Acuna taking on the challenge, the double layer closure. Okay. Perfect. Very cool. All right. Let's get one more in there. All right. So what do you think? That's not quite as hard as imagined, I don't and think, No, it's right? not. Just take a second for you to kind of like think about it. I think the only really hard part, once you realize that it's just the same thing upside down, is the fact that you're working in a little deeper, more confined space. Mm -hmm. But that's just where all your, you know, your skills kind of come together to work for you. And you have very good uh, handling technique there, Tony. Thank you. So you can see how easy it would be to pull that little tail out without realizing it. Okay. But you wanted me to bring this up a bit, right? You know what I would do is I would I would use as short of a tail as possible or get in the habit of using as short of a tail as possible, okay. mainly because then you can get more sutures out of one piece. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Okay. So about like that. Yep. So if that, um, if that little tail is short, it mm -hmm. makes it easier to grab. Mm -hmm. It also just gives you a longer length of material there to tie another stitch. Okay. So perfect. Now you just do your short and long V. Okay. Double, is, double, have you tied yeah, one knot yet? Yeah. yeah, there you go. And tie per parallel, tight, tight. There you go. Excellent. Now that's the other little problem is it yeah. sometimes disappears in there. It also helps to have someone not hanging over your shoulder. <laughs> All right, Sergeant, sure. let's uh, let's close up that top with three, three interrupteds. Three interrupteds, okay. You might have enough. We have a new member of the uh, Cotton Tip Applicator Club. <laughs> and quite honestly, that's going to serve you well in the long run by learning how to do that. Mm -hmm. And you can actually drive the needle right into the tip of the, of the, of course, that stuff is not performing like skin there. Yeah. Maybe we'll just do one. <laughs> that's not quite as go. nice as that other stuff, is no. it? No. Someone's skin is not in good condition there. Yeah, I think I'm nice. Older, older person's skin. Yep. Steroids. Okay. There you go. I like how you don't give up the fight and battle through. Nice job. 